Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and I'm playing some Dragon Quest Builders 2. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell items, okay? Now, it is a uh, tablet target quest, and it's a very tedious one, right, is the best way to put it. Now, what you need, first and foremost, is a shop, right? And if you can't remember how to build one, you can check in the Builderpedia because you have to do it when you come to Scarlet Sands. So if you just go to rooms and have a, uh, a quick sort of look down, uh, where is it? There it is, right? So it tells you. You can also change the type so you can make it with an ornamental herb and a chimera. But your box standard one is two crates, a table, a price tag, and a shop sign, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure there's enough room around it because your merchants need to get behind it in order to sell the items that are on it, okay? <laughs> you know, it sounds very self-explanatory, but it's very easily forgotten, right? <laughs> it really is. So, yes, all I've done is I've put just some random items in here, right? Some decorative, some good ones like this, some food, Right, and they will buy them, right, they will, it just, it takes them a long time, right, and there's only a certain time of day where they will actually come and buy them, right, which kind of sucks, but eh, it is what it is. Also, the second thing you need are these dudes, right, the merchants, now, you can get them on the iridescent aisle, right? And you can tell the merchants because they've got these lovely green hats. And typically they've got like a green outfit on, but these have all got changed into whatever clothes I had over there. Here we go, look. Here's a prime example, right? So there we go. So yeah, you need to make sure you've got merchants. Like more than one, obviously, it doesn't matter how many you've got. If you've got one merchant, he will still sell things, okay? Now, if you've got two merchants, you will sell twice as much because technically they should stand at different tables, right? Mine, eh, every now and again, they'll both stand at the same table, right? Because reasons. I have no idea why, right? But that is the uh, basics of it. Now, I do believe the limit well, the limit cap, like the maximum tablet target is 200 items, right? And these guys don't buy a lot, right? If I'm honest with you. Now, this, but I put 100 in here, so they bought five, right? In a day, basically. So, you know, it's not like it's going to take forever, but yeah, it'll take you a little while. Also, your little entertainments like this, you can get rid of them for the time being, if you want to increase your selling because it will just mean they'll not run and stand in front of these you know for ages <laughs> and do whatever but yeah also speeding your um, farmers up with their crops you know watering it for them unless it's raining I and mean, then it self waters um yeah just stuff like that so what i'm gonna do is just uh, speed this bit along until we get to the right time for these dudes to jump in the shop so, my dudes, after, <laughs> you know, a little bit of waiting, as you can see, right, in the uh, top right corner, right next to your mini-map, you've got, like, that little sundial, right? And when it gets to around this time, right, everybody will be scattering off doing whatever, right? And the merchants should, <laughs> I say should because, you know, NPCs, Dragon Quest Builders, too, meh, right? But they should come into the shop, right? And where those two are going, I don't know. We've just gone around the back of the shop for a stretch, apparently. But yes, right. Now, they should come into the shop and stand behind here and start, you know, singing, essentially. Just like shouting, trying to get customers in. Why he is not going, I don't know, right? And yeah, the, your other NPCs will just come in and buy stuff, right? Now, obviously, as I said before, the more merchants the more stuff you're going to sell technically because, you know, they're all going to be stood behind a separate counter, right? And then it's just waiting because, as you can see, there's, like, a pecking order. So they'll wait for him now, right? And also they will drop hearts, right, whenever they actually buy something, which is pretty awesome, or whenever you sell something, right? So it's, you know, a little income 
for your uh, gratitude points. But yeah, as you can see, you know, if you want to sell stuff really quickly, get more merchants. If you're not too bothered, meh. I mean, it is what it is. And yeah, and you can experiment, you know, put different, because he dropped two hearts then, because he bought food, right? So you can experiment, put different stuff in the shops. You never know, they might like it. So yeah, guys, that is how to sell stuff on Dragon Quest Builders 2. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.